Hi, this is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm in North Chesterfield. More specifically, I'm off the Bailey's Bridge Road corridor, and today we're going to take a look at a four bedroom, two and a half bath home. This home is located here on a dead end street. There's only uh, about four or five homes here on the street, so there's very little traffic that'll come through here. Uh, that used to be, or in some versions of this home, a two car garage. They have converted it to a nice big rec room. And uh, I'm sure you will enjoy that when we see it inside momentarily. We've got a really nice porch here. You get several rocking chairs. This home is a new listing by one of my fellow realtors in my office. This is not a foreclosure. Uh, this home is currently occupied. It shows beautifully as you can see. We've got our formal dining room there of course the steps going up hallway to the rear and a formal living room the thing that i like about this home is that you have a combination of formal and open spaces and we don't see that very often uh, it, that floor plan was brilliantly executed here in this home we have our half bath here convenient in the middle of the home Today, I wanted to chat a little bit about the role of the settlement agent. Uh, all real estate is local and every state has different rules and regulations as far as real estate settlements or closings. Here in Virginia, a real estate attorney can conduct a closing and a title company can conduct a real estate closing. We refer to both of those entities as settlement agents. That is the organization that actually does all of the paperwork they bring the whole transaction together they do the accounting for the entire transaction uh, and there is a lot of accounting for real estate transaction uh, there's prorations for taxes for insurance uh, they have to make sure that uh, all of the documents necessary for the closing are in order. They coordinate with the lender. They coordinate with the home warranty company. Uh, of course, both agents are involved and they also handle the title insurance. Uh, title insurance is provided. It is mandatory for the lender to have title insurance covered when the, you are getting financing on a property and it's highly, highly recommended for an owner to get title insurance on a property. Uh, the settlement agent will, of course, do all of that. They will provide as a carrier uh, that title insurance. Uh, once it is time for closing, typically we will go to the settlement agent's office and that's where the closing is traditionally conducted. However, it is possible to close a real estate transaction out of state or at any location that you need to uh, within the Metro Richmond area. So there is a great deal of flexibility. During that settlement, there'll be a whole bunch of documents to sign. Most of them will be documents for the lender. Uh, there are tax documents. Uh, one thing about buying a home where a mortgage is involved, for everything that ever happened to a lender, where it was an issue where they lost money, there's a form for it. Some lenders are so picky, they even have a document that says that they have the right to contact you via cell phone if they need to. So that gives you an idea of the level of detail that's in a typical loan package. Uh, at closing here in Virginia, typically the only people that have to be there are gonna be the settlement agent or their representative, the person that's actually gonna explain and give you the documents to sign. Uh, I am always at my settlements when I am representing a buyer. The only exception is if I'm in the hospital, if I'm in critical condition, or if I've got a really, really good first date and the uh, lady has potential. Other than that, I'm definitely gonna be there at closing with you. Uh, some states, I understand that they have four, five, six people, both buyer and seller are at the table in addition to their attorneys in some states from what I understand. So all real estate, all real estate practices uh, are local and they vary tremendously by area, by state. Okay, getting back to this home, as you can see, we've got a really nice floor plan. Uh, I've got a second floor laundry here, nice and convenient to this beautiful 
master. Uh, one thing I really like about this master, in addition to the space, is we have a nice little nook over here. This is a great place to put a nice chair if you like to enjoy reading a book by natural sunlight. Great place to do it. Really good size walk-in closet. This home does have a pull-down attic and uh, just plenty of storage in this beautiful home. Okay, we're gonna finish up here in our master bath, which is straight ahead. We've got a nice, nice size master bath, double vanity, plenty of mirror space there. Uh, for those of you that love to see yourself in a mirror, I hope you checked out the video that I did last that had the mirrors on both sides of the tub. I just, I just never know what you're gonna see in some of these houses. That one kind of made me chuckle a little bit. We've got a nice big, extra large shower head there. That's probably good for about 25% more cleanliness than the standard shower head. And that's gonna do it for this beautiful home. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures, on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Have a great day.